Round three, the conclusion. This reminds me of round one. If we hit that third land, we might be okay. <laughs> We're on the draw. I think our options are... Uh, our chances are good. Two turns, draw land. I would like to actually play this card. That's fine. Alrighty. Looks like we're in business. Our Slum Reaper is pretty shitty unless we can get rid of the Slitherhead. Alrighty, I like what's happening. Ooh, no play. So next turn we're gonna drop blessing and go to town. Our Slum Reaper could be good again. But I don't think we're going to need it. I have a real fondness for Ogre Jailbreaker. Four mana, four fours has always made me happy. I think it all started with Locks Down High Arc. We'll just play some dude. Should be enough. Absolute beating. That, yeah. Not much you can do against Concave. Conclave blessing that early. Didn't see a whole lot out of him. I think I might be undervaluing the sentry in our deck, but. I'll just keep it as is. Keep with the hover barrier we would never see. Uh, yeah, I suppose this is okay. Just gotta draw land. The theme of our games. Guildgate? Ooh, I'll take that. That's going to curve us out real nice. Is that going to get us there? Could that be a turn 5 horn collars? Uh, hmm. I think we just gotta get the guild gate here. Well, maybe not. Well, I want to for sure play my axe being guardian next turn. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna get a swamp to ensure that we can play this guardian next turn. I don't want to get a guild gate, then just ship the turn with no play on turn three. And just using him as a a ramp module to hit us on that horn caller's chain will be good enough. I might just play up Martial Law next turn. Well, well, well. Yep, 
Yeah. Now we'll just go all in on defenders. So next turn we have for sure horn callers chant. I think my turn five is going to be a little better. Yeah, it doesn't get much better than this. Next turn we'll play a martial law and a slum reaper. Wouldn't mind if you bricked here. Although I don't know if there's a single spell you can't cast for six mana. There's gotta be some action in his hand. It'd be great if you just try to enchant his rubble back rhino. But I think this is a good demonstration of the power of the defender deck. You can play eight drops, no problem. But again, still definitely a lot of room for benefit. Room for improvement, rather. Yeah, that's all fine. Yeah, I'll just pay it. Then I'll sack it to my Slum Reaper. Ooh, that changes things. Let's see here. I get in for eight. I get in for six. I don't think it'll block. Yeah, let's see, see what he does here. Oh, he's just gonna trade. Interesting. That's kind of a bummer, but I can live with it. Whatever he plays, we're going to throw a little launch party. And I think I'm going to throw this because I want to play some more spells next turn. I'm 
like that one. That's pretty gross. It's fun having the mana to do anything I want. These two cards, I think our deck could have been a lot, whole lot better, but it was fine for what it was. But uh, the defender gives you a lot of options. Axe Bane and Gate Creeper is the best mana fixing you can ever hope for. It ramps, it fixes, and if we, I feel like if we did this draft over again, we could make a better deck. Since we got the core elements pretty strong, plenty of defenders, and if we just load up a little more on our top end, and maybe mulligan down a few select games, would have gone 3-0, but you can never complain with a 2-1. I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, I'll see you for the next one.